by our conversations, I could tell you you know a lot about music. Um, you know a whole bunch about music. Um, when it comes to Chief Keith music, what are some of your favorite records from Chief Keith? Uh, favorite records. Don't love no thotties. <laughs> It's so funny. Uh, no, not love, no thotties. Uh, bang, which would rescue me and take me out of poverty. Right. Why wouldn't that be it? No lie, though. That's it. That's one. And uh, nobody with Kanye West. Okay. Yeah, that was. Not, I was just listening to that the other day. And missing like, you. Yeah. For him to do a tribute that he gets to do because Blood Money is his cousin and his confidant. Right. So it being early, him being blessed, so meant, what, what, what Chan say? Blessings keep falling in my lap. Um, yeah, that's so early. He's not even big as he's gonna turn out to be if he, has it in his heart to continue. Right. Everything happened to him so early that he probably don't won't know the value of it, such as Jay Z verse, mm -hmm. um, such as those things, you know, such as Jay Z verse. I think that he probably, man. Yeah, he did the damn thing on Missing You because that was for Mario. And that's early, that's not, no, no. They didn't get into it and he would have to sing that and be like, damn. It was special, it was excellent. It was, it was not Pac and Biggie. It wasn't a tribute to just this person or someone that was a solo person he knew about or knew of and decided to make a song about him because he hanged with him too and want to, you know, kind of prove it, right. so to speak. Right. This is very big. This is, this is something that someone would have to do for the BET Awards. Mm -hmm. Same reason I don't know how he is in any trouble, you know, circling around with the BET Awards. That right. he has something special for it too. To he has something to offer as well. Right, right, right. Yeah, you would have to have some tribute going out to one of the old heads, as we say in Chi Town. You know, somebody who passed away, or someone who's living. Probably, you know how they do the BET Awards for the living. Right. The stature of your son. I would think that I would already see you in like reality shows. I would see you. Um, all over the media outlets and you know the commercials and all that. What what, what can we expect Rah, from you? Like Rah. you mentioned, you, you mentioned Chief Keith had a movie coming out. Are you in that? Like what's what's coming for yourself? I could be in that. He had to ask me. He got this. People got to call my people now for real. So I'm not anxious to get in the world of reality TV. I used to watch it a lot. Something happened to me when my son would become a star for me watching TV and praising God about Cameron Newton almost not being able to be to be nominated to get the Heisman because his daddy would do something very bad with the Redskins. Right. So the way I care about what I watch, the way I care about <clears throat> late night TV, the last five minutes, that's the performance time, right? Mm -hmm. The way I love someone like Jay Leno to watch the entire 55 minutes. The Roots, Jay-Z band, Jimmy Fallon band, whatever. Um, just everything would make me just say, oh shit, I, I flipped these burgers? Seriously? This, this guy can get his own things? Some moms feel like, no, you ain't make it. it you know, you, you banking on your son, you know. I thought that the love story, the family one, the one that's for the family, 
I thought the story tells you that your children can take good care of you too. Right. So now everything is canceled out, even the fiction that carries you through life. So you haven't gotten the offers at all? I have had offers. I have had some people from, um, something, was it MTV or something, to actually come in the hood to O Block. Mm -hmm. So I would go and pay my rent, being humble and still having that apartment which I felt mentally ran away from all the whispering, like, hurry up and move. But instead, why you ain't up north in a mansion? The same questions and rumors and things what people whisper about anyway, because they see a better day for you, even if you stood around moping and fussed or had some type of encounter with them that you were at the neighborhood store because you're still around. Mm -hmm. So, um, with that being said, he just, he, he, he has to move away. He has to go. You go away too, but you're still around. You have to finish your life, the rest of what you got going on, because you're involved. Right. And it's like, I don't want to say someone bad mouthed me, but someone, one, someone, one of Keith's managers bad mouthed me and my brother also <laughs> to Vice. Wow. Behind y'all back. I would find out because Maddie B is a cousin, right. but he got a grandpa. So Maddie B, who made Young Flashy and Cocky, mm -hmm. that's my real cousin. Right. That's, cool. that's Keith's cousin. Yeah. He's just not GBE. He's more of J. Cole. Isn't he awesome? You're talking about uh, Maddie, Maddie Baby. Maddie Baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? His dad is his manager. That's my cousin. That's what he has on GB. Mm -hmm. I got a daddy, too. But I got the grandpa, too. Right, right. Because that's my mama brother son that had a son and named him Maddie. Okay. Matthew. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, Matt, Maddie, um, PR, he would talk to me and we would get, you know, people offering me things. Mm -hmm. So I would be like, yeah, you know, Ronaldo, Maddie's dad, my boy cousin, my guy cousin, um, like Tato Daddy and Fredo Daddy. So Maddie Daddy was just welcoming me to talk to the PR anytime, you know, call them. We start texting, texting away, so yeah. So I think your brother and Keith's manager bad mouth you to Vice. And I'm like, no. Real? Why me? Why me? This shit get hectic. And right. even when August Alcina mom was saying how, you know, you didn't call me, I reached out to you on Mother's Day. All that stuff that happened. Four or five months ago, six months ago, whatever that was. Because I'm into those things, and that's why I'm compatible with this life. Right. So what will it take for you to get, you know, on the TV screen? I mean, is it a certain amount of money? Is it a certain amount of, you know, um, uh, sponsorships? Or, you know, what will it take for, you know, Lolo Carter to become a star of her own and not, you know, just Chief Keith's mom? Now that I'm single, closure with the life of Chicago. Things I have going on with my little one, just moving to California. No one can offer me the amount of money that I would really want or know that I deserve. They'll be like, yeah, right, a rapper's mom? So I, I don't even base off the, the amount of money. It's a being done with wrestling with my Chicago peers when the wrestle and you can make it all I'm, I'm making it where it's over because I'm leaving to, to from Chicago to California should I say um, it's all about God's pace and grace um, yes yeah, nothing nothing special to get me on anything I'll 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 be ready for whatever at that point because what is it, a couple of reality shows? Mm -hmm. You try your best not to degrade yourself if you're anything like me. Mm -hmm. Because those shows 
can have you degrade yourself. Right. We're, we're, Not that the writers or the director or the producer or the big boss has it out for you to degrade yourself. No, it's about that's what happens because where we come from, that is just a party. Right. On television. What's your relationship with like the other moms, like the Bow Wow moms and the Soldier Boy moms? Like, could you ever see yourself getting together with other young entrepreneurs like your son and you know putting together a show with the hip hop moms? Yeah, because I uh, that's funny that someone would tell me about being on something such as hip hop moms. I would already be into having my own show, the daughter in laws from watching stuff like Big Brother, just being different from my peers and kind of disciplining myself, having to watch America's Top Model and being a big fanatic of that. I would think, you know, uh, even The Bachelorette, that Keith is this macho guy to most women, that I would do something with him. And not only I would do this thing where I'm, I'm, I look up to MC Light for being practically a narrator for the presentation at the awards. Mm -hmm. I have that voice. Well, I would even settle for Dish Nation and my dreams, Ricky Smiley, sit with me and tell me I can do that. Big ups to DeBrat on that now. Right. You know, not Xing out everybody else on that pl in that place, on that show. <clears throat> but yeah, Hip Hop Moms, that's cool because I wanted to do a thing where we're glory moms because if they think I'm so cool, come and help out and seek and speak is my thing. It's what I would name going around to high schools, finally all around the world, getting in what's the big deal like Africa, uh, them getting their paperwork right and their passports right because they would be a glory girl mother. Somebody, Kiara, no, would be a glory girl or some glory girls in the audience that had sex at 14, 15, have a baby, or they're freshmen, so they're not yet even, thank God they ran into my, uh, some, you know, my, what do you call it? My, what's the word for it? When you have a big audience, you have uh. a stage, Presence, uh, stage, uh, uh, stage presence, but you have a uh, like a, a lecture. It's like uh, a lecture. Oh no! Yeah, like of course I would be a motivational yeah. speaker. Right. Of course I would be a spokeswoman. But yeah, like that they would have the time and be in that school that I'm doing and speaking at that I would have special guests such as Chief Keith when he's available because as he mature he's probably wouldn't mind as he quiets down mentally and turns up working wise you know showing up to shows and doing big things right. yeah maybe like uh, like I say to be in sway shoes and just bring back the rap city like I would protest bringing back rap city mm -hmm. Big Tigger is very special to this day right. and we talking about from the kittens days when he had the kittens and the special sex appeal thing going mm -hmm. on and just a little trap we've been trapping and Tigger is a reason we trapped right. and from the hip-hop world the only trapper would be someone like Tigger or direct effect with DJ Clue and Lala Vasquez before she was Lala Anthony because she would marry Carmelo Anthony. Mm -hmm. 